Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to run association role mining in Rapid Miner, better known as market basket analysis. Now, association rules are if and then statements that help uncover relationships between seemingly unrelated data in a relational database or on an or information repository. The example is if a customer buys a dozen eggs, he is 80% likely to also purchase milk. Now you can see here, this is the connectivity between connectivity of flights. So what is the probability that if a person is going to Rome, then he will go to Barcelona or Vienna. Or if a person is in London, then he will take a flight for Bangkok. So this gives us the probability. Another example is if a person has purchased the tropical fruit, what is the probability that the customer will purchase curd cheese T. So it gives it gives you basically the if and then condition. Now there are some measures which we'll have to consider for creating this association rules. One of the measures is support. Support indicates how frequently if then relationship appears in the database. The percentage of transaction is to contain both X and Y in the rules of X to Y. In an easy way to understand, support gives a proportion of transactions which contain X and also it counts the amount of transactions present Y. Normally, the support is kept 10%. This thing will get very clear in our next slide. You can see here, we have taken one hypothetical data where in first transaction, customer has purchased apple, beer, curd and chicken. Uh, beer, uh, sorry, apple, beer, rice, and chicken. Now we will have to count that in how many transactions the customer has purchased the apple. One, two, three, and four. So out of eight transactions, the customer has purchased apple in four transactions, and therefore the support is four. Now the next thing is in how many transactions the customer has purchased apple beer and rice together let us count apple beer and rice so one and two so the support is two out of eight and that is 25 percentage now next is confidence confidence tells about the number of times these relationships have been found to be true the conditional probability of the occurrence of items in X and Y over the occurrence of items in X is called the confidence. Don't worry, when we'll go on the next slide, things will get crystal clear. Normally, we keep confidence to be more than 50%. Hence, the formula is confidence of X to Y is support of X with Y and divided by support of X. Let us see the next slide. If we Talk about the same transaction again. And if I want to see the confidence of that if a customer has purchased the apple, then what is what is the confidence that the customer will purchase the beer? So what we'll do here, we'll take the support of apple with beer and support of apple. This shows that item Y is purchased when X is also purchased, expressed as X to Y. This is measured by the proportion of transactions with item X in which item Y also appears. Now, if I talk about confidence of apple to beer is 3 out of 4. See, 3 out of 4. How? If you count the support and divide it by support, support of apple with beer and support only of apple, then it will be 3 by 4. Okay, let's proceed further. Now, lift is a measure of performance of the target at classifying or predicting the cases. So, lift is a ratio. So, if I talk about lift of x to y, is, is confidence of x to y divided by support b. A lift ratio larger than 1 implies that the relationship between the antecedent, means uh, the condition if, and the consequent is more significant than would be expected if two sets were independent. It is better, the larger the uh, lift ratio, more significant the association is there between the two products. 
If x and y are independent, then lift is equal to 1. If they occur together more often, then if they were independent, then lift will be greater than 1. So, if there is an association between the purchases of two products, it is desirable that lift should be more than 1. Lift can also be written as P or Y to X divided by PY. So that lift greater than 1 means that Y is more likely to occur given X and lift less than 1 would mean that Y would be less likely to occur given X. Now let us see the same thing in our example set. Lift of apple to the beer is support of apple and beer divided by support of apple upon support of beer. This shows how likely item, item Y is purchased when item X is purchased while controlling for how popular item Y is. So we'll have to control one of them. In table given below, the lift of apple to the beer is 1, which implies no association is found between the item. A lift value greater than 1 means that the white item Y is likely to be bought if the item X is also bought. So if this ratio was more than 1, then there was very high probability that if a person has purchased the, beer, uh, the apple, the beer would have been purchased. While a value less than 1 means that the white uh, item Y is unlikely to be bought if item X is bought. So, the three rules are support, where frequency of occurrence of X to the Y, X and Y together, divided by total number of transactions. Confidence is frequency of X and Y together, divided by frequency of X. And lift is support upon, to the total support upon support of X into support of Y. Now, if I talk about the association rules. So, let us talk about this first table canned beer to soda. The support is 1%. It means that the transaction has happened of this two, of these two products and that support is 1%. Confidence is 20% and lift is 1. For canned beer to berries is 0.1%, confidence is 1% and lift is 0.3. Canned beer to male cosmetics is 0.1%, 1% and 2.6. This is uh, the condition if and then. But if I talk about the individual transactions, their support are 10%, 20%, 3%, and 0.5%. Now, how to interpret this? The beer to the soda rule has the highest confidence at 20%. You can see. However, both beer and soda appear frequently across all transactions. So, their association could simply be a fluke. Why it's a fluke? Because the lift is 1. It means that there was no association between canned beer and soda. If the confidence increases, it is necessary that the lift should also increase. On the other hand, if I talk about beer to male cosmetics rule, the confidence is low due to few male, uh, due to few purchases of male cosmetics in general. However, as the lift is high, you can see lift is very high, 2.6. It means that there are very high chances that these two events will occur together. Now, how we can carry this, how we can carry out this association rule mining in rapid miner, let us see. So, first of all, I'll bring the data set marking and connect this with the results plot. I'll press the play button and you can see here, we are having a data of invoice, product one, orders and sales value. Now, you have to Remember something. See, there are multiple invoices of the same number and the products are also different. Product 20 and product 21. Here also we are having multiple invoices and there, there are different products which are coming. Now we are having invoices, products, number of orders and sales value. So first of all, we want to aggregate this. So, I will activate the aggregate command from here. I will disconnect this blind from here. And out of this to the example. Click here. Now, go in edit list. We want to concatenation. The concatenation is to be done on the product. Product 
one. Apply. Go in select attributes and we want to do this according to the invoicing. So activate the invoice. Apply. Now just simply connect it to see what has happened. Right? Run. Things are very clear. See, I had told you that there were many invoices and there was a repetition of invoices which has happened. So here on one unique invoice, we are having multiple products and this is a thing which we have done. Okay, this is a thing which we have done. So we are now having a unique invoices. Again, go in design. Now, activate the rename from here. Disconnect this spline. Connect this with the rename. Edit the list and the old name name of would be generated will be concatenate product one. Give the new name as product. Apply. Now set the role from here. So I'll connect this example with the example and activate set the role. So make sure invoice is activated and its role is ID. Here we are not specifying the target role as labeled because this is not a supervised learning technique. It is an unsupervised, unsupervised learning technique. So we are just specifying invoice as ID. Now, again, we will go here and activate FP growth. I'll connect this example with the example and I'll connect example and frequency together. Run the processes. Just a minute. So it is giving me an uh, error. No binomial attributes found in the input. No need to worry. Go here and specify items are there in first list. Now scroll below. Specify that the minimum support should be 0, 0, 005. Okay. Now you can run the analysis. The first thing which you should see is the support. So if I talk about product 11 and here the size indicates means only one transaction has happened. So the support is 0.138 for product 11, right? Total number of transactions of product 11 divided by total transactions. I again repeat, total number of transactions of product 11 and divided by total transactions. So it gives me the support. Now, I'll go on scrolling below and this gives me the length of two. It means that what is the support of this two product? Or rather, how many times these two products, these two transactions have been repeated? And the answer is 0 0.010. That is total number, uh, total number of transactions together with product 11 and 12 divided by total transactions. So it gives me 0 0.010. If I again go on scrolling, then the length or rather number of transactions, three transactions together, and it is 0 0.006. So product 11, 12 and 20, total number of transactions together divided by total transactions will give me this support. Again, if I go down, it will give me the four transactions. Okay. Now I want to generate the rules from this. So I'll go here and activate association rules. So create association rules from here. I'll drop it. First of all, disconnect the splines. Now make sure one thing that you have to connect the frequency of occurrence of the events to the items. Then you, then you connect the association rules with the result window and the items also with the result window. 
If you don't connect the second one, then also it's fine. Run it. And now you will get the same output again, but now you will go into the association rules directly. Now, one by one, we will try to understand uh, this output. First of all, let us see. So, if product 11 and 18 are purchased together, what is the possibility that the product 12 will also be purchased? So the support here which we have got is 0 0.002. It is very less. Confidence is one. But the most important and the glaring thing is which you should focus here is lift. Lift is 7.3 and it has almost crossed 1. And therefore, the probability of occurrence of this event is maximum. Now you can arrange the rules like this way. See the values. It's, some of them have the values have gone 493, 246 and you can find out that if uh, how many events are happening together. So if a customer is purchasing product 12 and product 25, it is very likely that a customer will go for product 1 and product 31 also because the lift is very high. Though the support may be low, but as the lift is high, it is the parameter or it is a measure which can which tells us the probability of occurrence of event together. You can take some decisions from confidence also, and you can specify the minimum criterion, or rather, you can change the minimum criterion value from here. Activate the lift here, and you can scroll the things from here. Now, if you will go on increasing the value, the rules will get, get lesser and lesser. The reason is, the higher the value, there, are, will, there will be only few rules which will be able to meet that threshold limit. Say for example, I will activate here confidence. And if I go on increasing this, then uh, sorry, go on decreasing this, the rules will increase. So from here, uh, the researcher can take the decision how much lift he want to keep or how much confidence he want to keep. The same thing you can see in the description also, what are the association rules which have emerged. So, so these are the association rules which have emerged. I can again go in design, create association rules and I can change the things from here also. Lift, minimum criterion value. I can specify 1.5 and again I can run from here. And therefore, now the rules which I will get will be only about 1.2. You can see here. So, now it is giving me the two product rules. Product 20, if product 20 has been purchased by the customer, what is the possibility that the product 19 will be purchased? So the uh, only two products are involved, then three, then four. So you can go for specifying how many uh, products you want to include it or how many association rules you want to develop. A two, that is a length is two, three or four. You can also see for individual product like product 11, what are the rules are there for individual product, which rules are there for product 12, which rules are there. Same thing, you can go in graphs and you can activate the rules from here. Again, you can go in description and you can get the association rules also from here. So for more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Kindly refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos related to Rapid Miner. And please don't forget to press the like button.